I'm almost about to pull into Karajini National Park. So I'm like maybe like 18 hours north of Perth at the moment. I want to show you guys my camera gear that I bought. Oh, that light is so cool. Hey guys, I am literally so excited to film. So I haven't actually filmed for like two-ish weeks. And I know you guys see like an episode once or twice a week, but I actually just had heaps up my sleeve. So I feel like we have heaps to catch up on before I actually start. But as you can tell, I'm definitely not in Perth anymore. I am well and truly in the outback. But yeah, I want to catch you guys up on what I've done the last few weeks. So I'm going to start with my car. So I got a long range fuel tank put in from Brown Davis and it is 145 liters. And all I can say is thank gosh that I actually got that because I was lost yesterday for like two, 300 Ks. And if I didn't have that, I probably would have been stuffed. <laughs> I also got some underbody protection and some new floor mats as well. And then I also got a rattle gun so I can take these nuts off a little bit easier if I have to change my tire because I still haven't had to do it yet and I'm adamant that I'm going to have to do it soon. And I also fixed up my brake to make it a little bit tighter but as we were doing it the screw snapped so I spent ages trying to find the right screw. I ended up having to buy a whole new brake line but anyway got that sorted and the car is still kicking strong. It is actually almost due for another service. I've done like Honestly, like 15,000 Ks the last six weeks, which is ridiculous, but I'm going to wait till I get a little bit closer to Broome to get that done. All the levels are good. Like I've done a basic service, but yeah, I want someone professional to check it over when I get there as well. Just on that, I post like live sort of updates on my Instagram, like that sort of stuff. If you want to check it out, I'll pop it here. But yeah, also while I was down in Perth, I went a little bit all out on shopping because I don't know when the next time is going to be when I'm around that many shops. So I bought all new camera gear and with that being said i'm still bloody using my phone but i'm gonna learn how to use it in the next few videos so bear with me while i do that i'll go through a little bit later what i actually bought but yeah i just really want to create good videos for you guys and i'm a one-man band so it'd be better if there's like multiple cameras set up and on the car and that sort of stuff so i thought i would bite the bullet and spend all that to invest in better videos for you guys so that's sort of like an update of what i've done the last little bit I am almost about to pull into Karajini National Park. So I'm like maybe like 18 hours north of Perth at the moment. So I will shut up and we will get into the day. All right, so this is filming off my brand new GoPro. So I got a GoPro 11 and I got the creator edition, which has like a microphone and a wind blocker and a light. So I can film in nighttime now. But yeah, let me know, is this quality better? I would hope so. It's also really weird that I can see myself. Usually I use my iPhone and I flip it around the other way. So the quality is better. And yeah, I have no idea what I look like. So it's probably a bad thing that I now can because I'm going to start fixing my hair and shit. But... Yeah, this is the GoPro. Let me know if you like this more. I would hope so because I bought it. <laughs> but yeah, apparently this quality is really good. So we'll put it to the test.
there is seriously something absolutely stunning about like red dirt red rock next to like crystal clear blue water that was seriously beautiful but also very fresh and way too cold for me to swim but there's heaps of waterfalls gorges and yeah just really beautiful things around here to see there's heaps of hikes as well so i'm going to spend the next few days here to actually like check it all out but i've just gone down to like the picnic area because i'm going to quickly make something to eat and then we'll keep on driving and we'll check out some more spots so i'm going to make myself a bit of a yogurt but i'll do it after because i want to show you guys my camera gear that i bought so i'll start with the gopro so this is the 11 and that's what it looks like with the light and then the microphone as well and then i obviously have the stand so i don't have my big long annoying selfie arm then this is also what i bought new which is the dji microphone and i'm really scared to use this like it looks really fancy and i'm not 100 percent sure how it works just yet but pretty much it connects like to your phone and then it rests on you as well and it comes with these little fluffy mabobs so that it blocks the wind because the wind noise drives me absolutely nuts in my videos and i'm sure it does for you guys as well so i'll use that from now on too then i also have a camera which is not new i've actually had this for a couple of years now obviously just to take photos it's a canon 90d 90d yeah so that's that and then last but not least i got a new drone which i'm really scared to use i was going to use it before but obviously we weren't allowed but yeah i'll go through it a little bit closer and i also got some like attachments for the car and stuff so there's cameras set around as well but i'll show you what this looks like so it comes with this controller already built in which the last one doesn't have and then it's got sensors on the front and sensors on the back. So if you watched like all my videos, you know that I crashed it one time into a tree, my other one. And this one definitely won't let me do that. And you can also do like a follow. So you can tap on a subject and it'll follow you, which is really cool as well. And it goes vertical too. And my other one, it just kept breaking. <laughs> like I would fly it and then it would just start landing. Like it would say signal loss landing, battery low landing when everything was fine. So I think there was like a little glitch in it or something, but yeah. Anyway, we'll check out this new one and we'll see how we go with all the other camera gear. Like that mic would have been perfect for that video when I was explaining it all. So yeah, I do want to, see how it all goes. Right, so that was the lookout of the gorge from the top and yeah i just went back to the car and popped the drone back because it saves me extra weight in the bag but yeah i'm also back on my phone again because i want to change the contrast level on the gopro so i'll fiddle with that tonight but yeah we'll have a look at what this looks like from the bottom that's where the water would have flowed over to make it a waterfall but yeah unfortunately there's no water there at the moment but it's still absolutely beautiful with all of this rock i also got a gimbal as well that i really should be using for this because it's perfect when you're walking so you don't get any of the bounce but you need internet and there's no service here to set up the app and stuff so rookie mistake but that's right i will use that eventually too
All right, some fun facts while we walk back. Those rock formations are 2.5 billion years old, which is crazy. There are no crocodiles in this area, although that water at the bottom looked very murky. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't swim in that, and you actually had to to get across to the other side, so I called it where I did. And the water is known to be cold here. It's about 10 to 15 degrees. So I wasn't just being a sook before, I promise. But I booked a campground about half an hour away. So we'll jump back in the car and we'll head there now and we'll try and get there before it gets dark. Oh, that light is so cool. It's like blinding me a little bit though. <laughs> but I am so happy that the power box is dust proof because there is red dirt bloody everywhere. And I also have a code for them now as well. So it's Molly Power and I'll pop up on the screen everything that's included if you use that code. So make sure you jump onto that. It's, yeah, you can use that code on every single one of their power boxes as well. So it's a universal code. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna relax now for the rest of the evening, have some dinner and yeah, chill out. All right, so I'm going to finish this video up here. I'm actually gonna stay around this area for the next couple of days. So yeah, I'll do a few more hikes and I'll go to a few more waterfalls and stuff. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.